back to Game Muscle Videos. Today, we are checking out the uh, one and only go-kart mod for Assetto Corsa on the Hindusu go-kart track. Now, there is only one go-kart mod, as I say, and there's a two or three go-kart tracks, but I think this Hindusu track, which I'm probably saying wrong, is the only uh, sort of fully-fledged go-kart track. There's an indoor one, but it just looks a bit funky and the lighting's a bit off. Um, but this looked to be the best go-kart track, so I thought I'd load it up. And I thought it'd be interesting to just look at the go-karts in AC, see how they handle. Um, I did load up with some AI before on the track to race with them, but they all blew their engines up, so we're just going to do hot laps and uh, see how things handle. And I've also had to turn the driver hands off because uh, they, they seem to be bugging around a bit when I, when I first loaded it up. So the go-kart mod comes with uh, three, four karts, I think. Um, 50cc uh, to 125cc, and then... One of them is a shifter car, and of course we've had to jump into the uh, the most extreme to start with. Why not? It would be silly not to, and I've just noticed that we've got traction control and ABS, so let's turn that off. We don't want that in a go-kart. This is the uh, the GT3 version of the go-kart for super rich go-kart drivers that need uh, all the traction control and assists on just to do a single lap without spinning. That's fixed. Whoa! <laughs> We're going everywhere. Now, go-karts, as uh, I'm sure you, you've noticed, but by now uh, from our previous videos are extremely fun to play in VR because you're so close to the ground you know you, you can get a much better sense of speed and because it's open you you know you really feel like you whoa like you're there you've got to be careful this has got quite a bit of kick to it and uh, also what I think with go-karts which is really interesting is they tend to sort of highlight the inherent Oh, the inherent qualities. Gotta be careful with the braking here. The back just wants to come straight out. Assume we've only got brakes on the uh, on the back. The uh, go karts tend to highlight the inherent qualities of a given simulator uh, because they've got such a small wheel base and they're so nippy. You sort of get straight to uh, to the limit, basically, or whatever you're doing. And uh, so it's always an interesting exercise to go through go-karts in the various sims and it has to be said i think uh, go-karts tend to be some of the worst cars in driving simulators or, or, i mean all the way from uh, r factor one automobilista um game stock car which is essentially automobilista project cars go-karts are always i think even r factor two go-karts are always a little bit funky in how they handle one thing I'm noticing though, with this, uh, even though this mod is a little bit crazy, is that the uh, it's showing off that uh, aspect of AC that I really like. Is that in that there's a, a sort of ply over the limit. As soon as you go over the limit, there's still a sort of controllable amount of slip there. Oh, <laughs> we're going opposite lock. Um, so you, you can sort of balance the car. There's a little bit. There's a little bit of play there. Which I think this is one of the reasons I really like AC in, in the full-size cars, is that you know you, you, the tire model, the feel of the tire model through the force feedback and how the vehicles handle, gives you that sense that you've got something to play with, with the game sort of egging you on to push, and uh, that's definitely coming through with this go kart. Oh, <laughs> getting on the power here. This track's pretty nice as well, nice and nippy. Whoa, a bit, a little bit bumpy. <laughs> this car, this car, this go kart. Uh, very eager to get into to bounces, but I have to say this is this is pretty fantastic. Oh, I've never driven a uh, a real wheel shifter car, so I won't be able to say how uh, close this aligns to the real thing. But what what I will do after this, we're going to do one more lap, is I'm going to go to the 50cc bog standard car, which uh, probably would line up to one of the uh, those terrible <laughs> drive and drive go karts. Whoa. It's really hard to sustain a slide with this. Um, so that'll be interesting to try that and we'll, we'll sort of compare it directly to the experience of driving bad go-karts. Unfortunately, I don't have enough money to do the real thing with the, with shifter carts. You're talking a couple of grand just to get out there for occasional track days a few times a year. Oh. But... I think this actually feels pretty good. 
Oh, the sense of speed is fantastic. Try not to hit too much grass. Slide out wide. There we go. I've got to be really careful on the braking because the, the back obviously wants to come out. So we'll try and brake in a bit of a straight line. And actually, surprisingly, and this is sort of a, a testament to how robust the sort of underlying aspect of a set of Corsa is, even with this mod, which, uh, you know, I'm sure someone's was probably implemented in somewhat of a hacky way, there's good force feedback to communicate what the back end's doing. These, as I say, the grip loss is nice and progressive. The understeer is sort of, you know, catchable and adjustable with the braking and with the steering and the actual angle of the car through the corners is all very... Whoa! You, could, you know, you've got multiple choices there. It's not like you're committed to one line through the corner at the point that you've gone into it, which I think often happens with, uh, with a lot of simulators out there. As to how close this, this car lines up to a real thing exactly, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't be able to say because I haven't driven the real thing and uh, it's r even harder with go-karts to tell from videos the specifics of the, the nature of the handling. It'd be interesting for someone that has driven a shifter car to, to do a direct comparison. But let's go to a, uh, let's go back to the menu and let's get a, uh, the chug chug car. I'm going to need to uh, sellotape bricks to my uh, steering wheel here. I'm going to need to put on a sweaty, overused, sweaty, <laughs> overused overalls. And uh, we need to find a slightly overweight man uh, that can give us a bit of the start to get us going on the track and then we need some we need some really badly made coffee and tea and a mars bar and that'll give us the full arrive and drive experience of karting uh no looking at the model actually of the go-kart i said i don't think it's i think it's just some generic model it's not i don't know if it's a particular car though it's not if i recognize though i'm not a expert go-kart it's sort of a generic go-kart chassis going on there I mean, it still, it looks fantastic, even though it's quite a basic model with not that much texture work on it. VR is obviously like 3D and you sort of genuinely feel like you're there. So even with a basic model, with a crazy speedo on the steering wheel, you wouldn't get that on a crappy go-kart. Um, actually, it's quite nice. Amazing what, uh, I don't know, probably wouldn't look as nice on a 2D monitor. It's amazing how much VR sort of adds to things. We've even got traction control on this go-kart, so turn that off. <laughs> Traction control and ABS on my go-kart. Again, I, I, you know, super rich go-kart driver here. I do have a, to put it into first gear, so it's a quirk of this being a, a mod. There we go. This is like the arrive and drive experience. Oh, dear. It doesn't, it doesn't get more side note. That's it. One gear. That's all you need. Engine sounds like a, <laughs> like a some kind of Ducati motorbike engine because it uh, the samples obviously using the same sound sample. We need a, a more chuggy lawnmower sound to make this feel authentic. But um, actually, this this lines up. This lines up pretty. This is pretty amazingly close actually to uh, the terrible arrive and drive experience, or a slow, just a generic slow go kart. Um, this is actually surprisingly good. I'm actually, I'm actually genuinely taken aback by how close this is to the reality of a, a, a shit real-wheel go-kart. Maybe it's a... A little bit more, you know, this is a little bit more powerful, a little bit more light than what you get from some of the arrive and drive go-karts you'd find, but obviously that's what this is modelled after. Not This isn't modelled after one of those dual-engine arrive and drives, this is just modelled after a slow standard go-kart but the actual handling characteristics of it are, are pretty pretty much spot on i'm i'm pretty confident that you could if it's a shame there aren't more go-kart tracks someone needs to import them into ac but if you've got a local go-kart track you were going to go to and you wanted to train a bit this would actually be a really big help absolutely uh, amazing not uh, the most exciting of experiences but I, I just have to say in terms of the the nature of the handling of the vehicle here is so similar to my experience just uh, quite bizarre I mean we know to be fair when I've um, been driven around full-size racetracks in 
in their various cars, they line up to you, you, what you experience in the simulator. So it's not that much of a surprise, I guess. But it's just it's always it's always weird when you when you have a piece of software. A driving simulator is fundamentally abstract from the real thing. It's just going through a computer. It's all math. So uh, being projected onto a screen in, on my face. It's not the real thing, and yet it lines up. It's this sort of uh, the pinnacle of modern art, I'd say, of, uh, of realist art. Oh, bogging down around the corners. Uh, the way the cart's riding over the bumps as well is pretty impressive. I don't think um, AC has any uh, chassis flex or anything like that, but it doesn't seem to matter too much. I think what'll be really interesting is comparing this with um, uh, with Kartcraft, I think it's called Kartcraft, the new uh, Unreal Engine based go-kart sim that's coming out very soon. It'd be interesting to do a di direct comparison with that. I think the biggest advantage with that pure go-kart sim is obviously the game will have been designed from the ground up around go-karts and they'll have all the tracks and the content. So, as well, And I think the physics obviously will be designed around the go-karts as well with them implementing the go-karts spot on. <laughs> Getting stuck in a little bit of a bounce there. But um, as I say, it's the, the progressive nature of AC that really makes me feel that it, it just has that sort of realism to it that sometimes I think it feels a bit, it's a little bit lacking from some of the other simulators. And then the uh, the force feedback in AC is really, really communicative of what the tyres are doing, which makes up for the fact that when you're playing a driving simulator, you are, you know, you're not feeling any of the forces through your bottom, which is fundamental to the real world driving so having that sort of sense of mass and what the tires are doing what the what the direction of the vehicle is outside of its actual visual direction through the force feedback i think is a crucial thing the ac does a really good job of getting that information to you through the steering wheel of course in a real world go car like this you probably wouldn't be getting much through the steering wheel uh, at all apart from uh, cramped arms and uh, sweat from all the other people that have driven it. Whoa! <laughs> Watch out for the bumps. Boy, just this, this, all this mod needs is um, a different model for the go-kart, uh, a change in the, uh, the the sound file, and then a bunch of uh, go-kart tracks. You'd have something pretty damn fantastic. And I think at, at the moment, I'd, I'd probably put this near the top of <laughs> from, from Sims from playing driving simulators with go-karts now I'll probably put this near the top of what comes across as realistic um, and then I say uh, the uh, go-karts in uh, game stock car and especially game stock car has the advantage of having a whole bunch of go-kart tracks and a really good close AI so I'd say that's sort of up there as well but this is <laughs> for a mod this as I say looks as if it's somewhat cobbled and hacked together this is pretty damn good just need more tracks so if you're if you're watching this and you uh, and you uh, have access to the uh, to the tracks and you know how to get them in and it's not too much of an issue, please <laughs> put some go kart tracks in. We should have uh, should have go kart races in sim races system. That'd be awesome. Oh, I'm gonna finish this lap. But um, yeah, I, in terms of scoring for a mod, I wasn't expecting much of. Whoa. This is actually really worth downloading and just giving a bit of a go. And especially if we can get tracking at your local track or go-kart tracks in general, I'd say this is a perfectly good enough to uh, get some practice in. And probably will help you with your with real go-kart, I would have thought. So that was a nice little ranch over there. Um, but that's, uh, that's the end of this video. So that's an introduction to the only go-kart in a set of course that I'm aware of. Um, thanks for watching this. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, uh, like, and uh, I will see you in the next video we do. Sorry if the sound quality is not amazing or wasn't amazing in this video because uh, I'm using the mic on the Rift. It's not the best, but it's not the worst either. So, uh, oh, we're, we're sliding. The rear wheels are spinning, the front wheels are still, and we're moving uh, like, a, like a snail in a go-kart. But as I say, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.